Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And today's movie that I'm going to be re reviewing is uh, underrated movie. Um, not a lot of people uh, speak of it. It's kind of a forgotten about movie, and it is Unbreakable, uh, which came out in 2000, and stars Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, Robin Wright Penn, and Spencer Tree Clark. And the movie was directed, uh, written, and produced by M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, you know, M. Night Shyamalan, a ding dong. And my opinion, uh, this is probably his best film. Uh, I only have, I don't, I've only seen uh, two movies that, that M. Night Shyamalan did. Uh, recently was uh, After Earth, which I liked, even though it had uh, its problems. And then watched this movie. And this is uh, sort of like a, this is a superhero uh, movie, but, you know, it's not based on a comic or anything. And uh, it's done, I really, and you know, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was uh, really good and uh, good performance, good acting from Bruce Willis and Samuel Jackson. Uh, liked seeing them again in this movie because they did, um, they did Die Hard. Uh, with the vengeance together, and I really liked uh, you know their characters in Die Hard with the Vengeance, and also in uh, this movie. It's just really, really enjoyable. So, but uh, basically, what the movie's about is David Dunn, played by Bruce Willis, and he's a security guard, and he has a wife Audrey, played by Robin Wright Penn, and a son. Uh, named Joseph, played by Spencer Tree Clark, and he's coming from a job interview from New York, uh, back home on a train, and the train derails, and everyone who is on the train uh, dies except for uh, Bruce Willis's character and some other guy, a doctor, told uh, Bruce Willis's character in the film survived also, and uh, you know also what. Uh, Bruce Willis's character and uh, you know or Robin Wright uh, Penn, you know they're you know they're married like I said, and their marriage is dissolving and you know kind of on the rocks. And Bruce Willis married her after they had this car accident, and uh, Bruce Willis gave up a football career to uh, you know to marry her. And so uh, Bruce Willis meets Elijah Price, played by Samuel L. Jackson, and he was born with osteogenesis imperfecta, um, which is a disease in which uh, Samuel L. Jackson has uh, brittle bones, and there were four types of that, you know, disease, and he has uh, type one, which is like the rarest. And he contacts uh, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis's character. And he tells Bruce Willis that he might be a real life superhero, and Bruce Willis doesn't believe it. And so later on in the movie, Samuel Jackson's character ends up like stalking him, you know, Bruce Willis and his wife, and uh, you know, to. And that's basically the whole plot in the movie. Uh, but all in all, I really enjoyed this movie. I really liked it. Uh, great performances, like I said, from Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, very, very realistic uh, superhero film. Uh, the directing uh, by M. Night Shyamalan was great. Uh, just, uh, really, like I said, really enjoyable movie. Really underrated film. Uh, know a lot of people uh, won't like it because I know a lot of people, you know, everyone hates M. Night Shyamalan now for his uh, track his track record in films uh, but give this movie a watch I mean it's really good uh, very enjoyable uh, film and you know like I said music score really good also and the ending with the uh, that twist I'm not gonna give it away though but uh, if you watch the movie and you know if you see the ending to it uh, with the twist uh, you'll probably end up seeing the coming, but yes, yeah, so.
Uh, this is the uh, Vista series DVD. Uh, slips out like that. And got the cover right here. Front, back. Yeah, that's Samuel Jackson's character, Elijah. And then on the right, you got uh, Bruce Bruce Willis playing uh, David right there. It's a two disc uh, edition though. Show that. Sorry for the glare. Then you got a. Uh, you got this inside. It's Bruce Willis uh, later on in the movie. He dresses like that. And then Samuel Jackson as Elijah. And disc one has uh, the movie, and disc two has uh, the features. Uh, let me just take the discs out so you can see. That looks like. Again, so again, sorry for the glare. Yeah, so it's a nice looking, uh, nice looking set, nice looking DVD. And here's all the here's the booklet with uh, the features and stuff. Some nice Shyamalan right there. There. Chapter sections and uh, deleted scenes. And you got oh, it goes like this. So, yeah. Yes, well, they did the, uh, the train station sequence, the uh, it's Grand Central Station sequence. But yeah, it's really cool. Uh, this this set. Uh -huh. This isn't this isn't mine. This is my dad's though. My dad's DVD. Uh, but yeah, so it's a nice nice looking set, like I said. But yeah, so if you haven't seen Unbreakable. I would highly, highly recommend it. It's a really good movie. Very realistic superhero film. Uh, it's not based on a comic book. And, yeah, so, uh, really, very check out uh, Unbreakable. Uh, really underrated film. Uh, movie that no one speaks about. I know that they were going to do a, um, a trilogy of this, but uh, nothing came up about it. Like, nothing's happening about it. And I, I know because probably because they, this didn't do that well at the box office when it came out. Uh, and a lot of people said, oh, this, is, this isn't as good as The Sixth Sense. But you know, I really wish that somewhere down the line uh, they could do the trilogy of this. But I know it won't happen. But I hope they do. I hope they do a uh, trilogy of this, maybe. Uh, so yeah, so check out Unbreakable. Uh, really good movie, uh, very enjoyable film. And yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of Unbreakable. Well, thank you all for watching, and until the next video, I'll see you all later.